Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you all of our social emotional type curriculum resources and so let's just get started. We'll start over here with Myself and Others. This is by Memoria Press. There's four volumes. I do have all four volumes. I'm not going to flip through these because I do have a dedicated video on each, but I will show you the books that they come with. So we've got Myself and Others book one. We've got Miss Rumphius, Ricky Tiki Tavi, The Little Red Hen, F is for Feelings, The Ugly Duckling, The Gardener, The Monkey and the Crocodile, Cinderella, One Morning in Maine, Polite Elephant, and Abe Lincoln. And I believe in my video, I do not actually show these books, only the core set of books. I ended up buying all the books because I was trying to get them from the library and then I just, um, found that to be a pain, so I ended up buying them. So then I just have the whole set to use over and over. Book two, Chanticleer and the Fox, The Velveteen Rabbit, Mind Your Manners, Emily, Blaze and the Forest Fire, Sam Banks and Moonshine, We Gillis, and Lucy's Summer. So that's myself and others, book two. And then with book three, we have Sarah Plain and Tall, a Penny's Worth of Character and Aesop's Fables. And there's also a health book that goes with this. Um, and then book four, we've got The Cabin Face West, The Sign of the Beaver, and the, good, the Guide to Good Manners for Kids. Then I have some other books. Uh, this is an Usborne book. I actually got this for free. That was kind of nice um, when I ordered some other books. Jonathan James and the What If Monster. But then these other books, I'm pretty sure I got these recommendations from Lakeshore, just searching their social emotional books. I'm pretty sure, but I, I'm not positive. But I got these from Thrift Books. Alicia Has a Bad Day, Lumberly Worried, I'm Thankful Each Day. This was not a Lakeshore recommendation because this is a Christian book, so that would have been a Lakeshore recommendation. Uh, when Sophie Gets Angry, Really, Really Angry, and Regina's Big Mistake. So those, those are just kind of like extra that didn't really fit into a category. Um, and then we have Hands Are Not For Hitting, and this is by Free Spirit Publishing, which all of these are too, but this isn't the same series as that, so I didn't want to put that in there, but I have this whole series here. This is the Learning To Get Along series, um, and these books are really awesome because in the back, um, they have, some extra information and games. So these are really cool. But anyways, I've got um, Be Polite and Kind, When I Am Afraid, Cool Down and Work Through Anger, Join In and Play, Respect and Take Care of Things, Talk and Work It Out, Try and Stick With It, Reach Out and Give, Know and Follow Rules, Understand and Care, Listen and Learn, and share and take turns. Now these books are expensive, so I've got the majority of them on thrift books, and then the ones that weren't on thrift books I got from Amazon. Okay, we also have the Lego Education uh, Build Me Emotion Set, and there are lesson plans on the Lego Education website that go with those. These are awesome. I absolutely love those. Okay, then we've got some games and things. We've got the Lakeshore Social Grab and Write Social Emotional Prompts for Kindergarten to Grade Two, and so basically, um, there's these little cards. What should you do? Finish your lunch or hurry to recess, even at, even though you'll be hungry later. Why? And some of them are definitely more suited for a school, kind of like that one. Um, let's see, that one's more school related too. But they're not all school related. Okay, why do you need plenty of sleep? How does it help you? Now, we don't actually use these to write. We just talk about them. So that's all we do. We, I mean, we don't write these out. Okay, then we've got this game, Don't Go Bananas, an emotional control game for kids. This is a an easy card game. Even my four-year-old um, can play this. We rip the box. The box isn't the sturdiest, but... Uh, and then Consequences, this is one of my kids' favorite games. It's a really, really simple game, um, but they really, really love it. And um, 
Yeah, so if you want a more deeper review on anything, please just let me know. I'm not going to go into like full reviews or anything on all this stuff because there's just a lot of it. Um, and then we've got this um, Lakeshore, what should you do, a game of consequences. Look at that, I got that at Google for 99 cents. Um, and then we have the social skills. This has six board games. Now, I was actually doing a social skills class, and so at our co-op last year before everything got shut down. And so um, what I did for that class for co-op, just to give you guys an idea, if you wanted to do something like this at your co-op, I used these books. And then, of course, they have the activities in the back along with these games. So basically, we read a book. We might, you know, talk about it, do an activity or something. Oh, I also use these books. And then we would play a game. And I actually had kind of like an older set and a younger set in the class. And so the younger set would play this game. They, they loved this. And then the older kids who were like, um, so like my four and five-year-olds would play this game. And then the um, six and seven and eight-year-olds would play this one or this one has because the six and one and I tried to um if it matched up with the books you know play those anyway so that's an idea for a co-op class then we have these good news for little hearts I absolutely love these books these are Christian books they're written by Christian counselors um we've got Tori comes out of her shell and let me show you the back of these actually because they're similar to the other ones in which they do have this parent information in the back okay and then they have these tear out bible verse cards although we don't tear them out but you can okay so these are also really great so we've got and there's a lot of times that these will kind of coincide with those so tori comes out of her shell jack's tail twitches so this one is about when you're lonely, when you're angry. Henry says goodbye when you are sad. When you want something too much, Gus loses his grip. So he's hiding place when you are anxious. And Buster's ears trip him up when you fail. Then we got a couple of bedtime books. We've got, this is again, the Free Spirit Publishing like those. Um, Ready for bed, a tale of cleaning up, tucking in, and hardly any complaining. And then we've got this Osborne book, B is for Bedtime. And then um, this I'm Not Very Afraid of the Dark book. This is really cute. Okay, and then we got a couple manners books. We also had the manners books with myself and others, but we have these as well, a little book of manners. This was actually, my grandma had gotten this for me. Like this is like the actual copy my grandma had gotten for me when I was a kid. So it's by Emily Barnes. And then we have Mind Your Manners by Osborne. I did a whole video of this, so I'm not really gonna spend a lot of time on this at all. But this is, and I didn't bring all the books because there's a whole video. <laughs> this is Beautiful Feet Books, um, Teaching Character Through Literature. Because of course, you know, a lot of, it all just ties in together. And along with that, the kind of character um, teaching, We've got the Bible Bell series. I love these books. Um, they are The Adventures of Rooney Cruz, um, Deborah, The Bell of Leadership, and then The Bell of Loyalty, The Bell of Bravery, Esther, Abigail, The Bell of Bravery, and then Esther, The Bell of Patience, and Hannah, The Bell of Prayer. So we've got those. And then, um, I'll get to those in a second. We have um, What to Do When You Worry Too Much, A Kid's Guide to Overcoming Anxiety. And then Braver, Stronger, Smarter, A Girl's Guide to Overcoming Anxiety and Worry. We're, uh, we're already done with this one, but um, I wanted to show it because it might be a good resource for you. This book is not Christian, but it's not, it doesn't have anything that's not Christian. I'm not going to show the inside of it because my daughter's work in the, is in there, but you can go on Amazon and see the inside of that. Um, these are Christian. Um, and so we haven't done these yet, so I will show you a little bit inside. But I had originally only got one, and then I realized that they actually, you know, have a lot of writing in them, and so I bought two. Um, and then for my eight and 10 year old, and then along with that, for me, I got Raising Worry Free Girls, Helping Your Daughter Feel Braver, Stronger, and Smarter in an Anxious World. And I thought, you know, right now, everything that's going on. It's a good book to read. Okay, so then I have some other 
um, parent books here. I have Raising a Sensory Smart Child, the Definitive Handbook for Helping Your Child with Sensory Processing Issues. Um, and this is a great book because you don't have to read it cover to cover, although you probably should, but there's part one and then part two, addressing your child's sensory needs and so forth. And this is one of my favorite books. Um, you can get a uh, look inside on Amazon for that. And then we've got this playful learning lab for kids, whole body sensory adventures to enhance focus, engagement, and curiosity. So this book is really cool too. I do have a video where I show this somewhere, but um, this has all kinds of sensory activities in it. So does this one starting sensory integration therapy. It's got all kinds of um, ideas. So, and the, this one has a cross curricular activities like, you know, for, science and language arts and history and geography and all kinds of things. This one's just like general sensory integration ideas. Then we've got this coping skills for kids workbook. Now this says workbook, but in my opinion, it's, it's, and I guess it's kind of a workbook, but, um, not totally. So I think it's more of a, a book for the parents, um, not really for the kids because you know, again, it gives you the same type of things where it has ideas and things, but it does have some reproducible pages, and I guess that's why it's called a workbook. But you know, like how to make a homemade stress ball. Like, so this is really cool too. Again, this is from Amazon. So we've got, and this author, she's got a blog, and she's got some free stuff on her blog. There she is. And I'm pretty sure she has a podcast. I'm pretty sure it's her that I'm thinking of, the podcast, but. Anyway, definitely check her out. So that's Janine Halloran, okay? Um, then I got the CBT Toolbox for Children and Adolescents. Um, I actually have a spreadsheet that I will put in the description where I take this book. This is um, covers all kinds of things. And what I do in the spreadsheet is I kind of take what pages in this and then what other materials are good for different things. So for example, anxiety or for ADHD or for um, flexible thinking or for sensory or for um, our emotions, whatever I've taken I've listed what pages in here again this is a reproducible book there's also there's games and different things you can make from this and then I connect it with some of these other resources like what games it goes with what books it, the different topics can go with so if your child is dealing with something in particular say sensory processing um, or your child has ADHD there's you know different different things as you can see I've marked a lot of pages but different things in this book that can help with that um, and then you know connect them to the other resources so kind of like a plan basically I started um, also on a blog which I basically use as a resource gatherer um, I also started listing those resources you know like all on one post so all the sensory stuff on one everything's linked um, so I will link that too so please go take a look at those because that will help you okay so we've got these sensory diet cards um, these are from Super Duper Publications, I think, yep. Um, but I think I got them on Amazon. Okay, having a hard time here. Okay, so it gives you, you know, some ideas here. Oops, that's not the same one. And then on the back, it talks about it. So those are neat. I can leave those open because it's too hard to close one-handed. And then I have these Ibu, e yeah, Ibu. What do I do? Conversation cards, navigating social expectations. And then I have these feelings flashcards. These are um, in one of the Timber Doodle um, packages. <laughs> uh, you can get these from Timber Doodle. Um, I got them from Goodwill. I also have these Big Life journals for kids. Um, I'm, I'm not sure yet about these. I have to kind of go through it. Um, but this also has a podcast for kids that goes with it. And I think that is it. So that is all our social and emotional resources. Again, I'm gonna 
I'll put those links down below. Definitely check those out because that's gonna have everything linked and have all those resources kind of gathered in like categories and I think that uh, will be really helpful to you. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and if you have any questions, please let me know and have a blessed day.